Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we are going to learn about the why do we need a framework for test automation. All right, we will basically learn about what exactly is a framework. It's a very important question for an interview, guys. Many times I have asked personally what exactly is a framework and what are the different features of a good framework. Right, so you should learn and you should uh, watch the video till the end because we are going to discuss why test automation framework. is very important that you should learn and what are the different frameworks available in the market for a web functional testing point of view and uh, test automation keywords couple of keywords that you should know so that you can crack your next interview related to automation testing all right so let's get started and let's learn why do we need the framework for test automation first of all guys let's understand what exactly is a framework this is very important question for a uh, interview also all right pay attention to this i'm going to give you a couple of points also this uh, mind map uh, as a pdf is already available on uh, in the description which is sd.live/notes you will find a pdf version for it download it and uh, that's it okay and if you are liking these kind of context and if you are uh, basically want me to create more software testing related videos even manual testing or automation then please give it give it a like and subscribe to the channel and please type part 2 in the comment so that i can create more aut automation related videos all right you can type automation or part 2 in the comment all right awesome so first of all let's understand what exactly is a framework let me ask you this question in a very simple way okay what do you understand by framework okay so let's let me tell you what exactly it is okay whenever someone ask you like what exactly is a framework framework if you see right uh, let me pull up my marker also framework that uh, i think you have already seen many times a framework right which is a basic structure underline a system right but in programming language it has a different meaning right a framework basically if you see it, it can include libraries right or you can say framework call calls on the custom pieces of code whenever it is required so these are kind of a definitions right but actual definition if you see it's here basically a framework basically include a support program compiler code library tool set api reusable code and other things which will basically help you to base right now in context of the uh, test automation it will help you to write more number of test cases okay so if you see it is defined by the principle of inversion control what exactly it is let me explain you in this in a bit okay here if you see let me down this all right awesome so overall if you see a framework is nothing but a set of tools libraries or probably you can say some of the folder structure that you have basically added which will help you to basically write uh, in context with the testing right it will basically help you to write more test cases on it right and those test cases will be more generic in nature i mean it will uh, it will basically provide you a structure you can reuse the code it will have some utilities libraries reporting mechanism attached to it so right now i'm talking about the framework in a test and map test context with a context of text right so you can give the example properly and if you see here right in the diagram it's basically you can say generic functionalities are already added in this framework reusable environment and reusable codes are added to this framework and it can be modified by writing the additional code or you can say it basically work as a template application right where any application for example you can pick any web application and you can write the test test uh, automation code or a testing code or a test code into that their framework right i hope this is clear now right and that you need to basically say to your interviewer also whenever someone ask you the question like what exactly is a framework you can say tell them that it's a set of generic functions uh, basically reusable components uh, reporting utils and like libraries or you can say a template or a blueprint which will which will help you to develop your test cases in context to test cases right if you are talking about in a development point of view you don't have to use the test cases you can say to write a code or something okay amazing all right so let's uh, discuss about the good uh, features of a good automation framework i think this is which is uh, very uh, very very clear right uh, proper documentation for a framework is important consistency whatever that code or whatever the test cases that you are writing right there must be consistent right uh, they should be reusable there should be a reusable code that you are doing and the functionality whatever the task is there 
that it should present the task i mean it should do the task whatever it is right and why we need this this is where it is important okay pay attention to this because a framework basically if you see let me pull up my marker is once created you can automate the test application right it it, it will provide you to faster execution it will provide you better report generations reusable code failure alerts framework basically it's a structure to your automation testing right it will increase your speed efficiency improve your test accuracy and it will it will help you to basically do the regression testing for you guys right and this is and it will have a lower maintenance code after introducing a test automation framework in your automation testing all right so i think this is clear right now right and this is i think a very important diagram where it basically talks about uh, a framework will basically help you to reusable the code lower maintenance recovery scenario easy reporting minimum manual inter intervention and the maximum coverage that you can get it right i think this is from the edureka.com thanks a lot for that all right so uh, i hope this is clear now, right now right and different type of framework i think i have explained many times about the data driven keyword keyword driven hybrid page object model uh, page object model is not a framework actually it's a model different and you can say bdd is a framework right bdd uh, you can say behavior driven i think i have explained many times right uh, most of the time whenever interviewer ask you right what kind of framework that generally you have then you should uh, always maximum time you should say that it's a hybrid because many times you have mixed up your data driven keyword and couple of utils and other things right so it's a hybrid in nature not a proper data driven i think uh, this is what my learning says that okay uh, what are the different keyword that you should know uh, i think it is important related to like aut which is application to test test automation tools for example selenium uft other things test management tools which will basically help you to uh, manage your test cases for example G, you can use a fire practice test other things test environment where you are testing it it can be a staging or a pre-prod environment application objects i think different uh, elements which basically like for example text box radio button other things are application objects test data i think whatever the input values that you are going to use functions test scripts are nothing but a script set of uh, set of condition that you are basically following and the results whatever the result that you are getting for example it can be in the video or screenshot format right i hope this is clear right uh, i think uh, now you should know like why we need framework i have told you uh, here so here is a right ex right answer which is basically will, which will help you to do the uh, faster execution reusable code failure alert and many more features that's why we basically try to introduce the uh, test automation framework in the automation testing and this is very important interview question also so i hope you are clear right now right thanks for watching this video guys and if you are uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up i'll see you in the next video bye